the hybrid nature for this is set up really to be primarily grid interactive storage to increase homeowners' self-consumption, where PV, excess PV power they produce on site is saved to offset higher utility uh, costs later in the evening. All right, so I understand you've got compatibility today with the BYD high voltage battery, but I understand there's an SMA battery coming soon. What can you tell us about that? Now, Mike, I know one question that a lot of the installers out there are going to have is, what is the commissioning process like? How quickly can I get through the commissioning so I can close out the project? What can you tell us about that? Hi, everyone. Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus Texas, the International Solar Conference here in Houston. And this morning I'm joined by Michael Mahan, who is the Solar Academy Manager at SMA, and we're going to be looking at the new SMA Sunny Boy Smart Energy. So uh, Michael, it's really good to meet you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having us, Joe. Really appreciate this opportunity. Uh, and thank you for coming to talk about the uh, Sunny Boy Smart Energy. We're very excited about our new hybrid residential inverter. Um, can be PV and battery, or PV only, or could be an AC couple battery inverter. So we're very excited about bringing this to market. Great. Well, Michael, as you know, I think one of the trends in the industry that we've seen is, is the mainstreaming of solar with battery storage. You know, five years ago, there was a very, very low battery attachment rate. Most of the focus was on grid tie solar only. Now, with the way the net metering rules are changing in a number of the, the states, uh, the need for batteries with solar is uh, it's, it's just more of a need than we have, we've seen before. And my understanding is that your new Sunny Boy Smart Energy is designed to kind of meet that need, being a, a, a from, the, um, from the beginning hybrid battery capable inverter. So can you walk us through the basic functionality and the specifications, please? Most definitely. Like you say, that, that is kind of being seen as the need for the future here in, in the U.S. market. Um, we are a global company, and Europe is probably ahead of us by quite a bit in, in that aspect. But the hybrid nature for this is set up really to be primarily grid interactive storage to increase homeowners' self-consumption where PV, excess PV power they produce on site is saved to offset higher utility uh, costs later in the evening. They may not get any money for pushing back to the grid during the day or the evening, so they're doing that more as offsetting uh, costs. Uh, so the current line, the inverter goes from 3.8 up to 7.7 .7 kilowatts, so kind of the range we had for our outgoing Sunny Boy. Later this year or early next year, we'll have a 9.6 and an 11.5K unit. The current units we have now have three MPPT channels and one battery input. The two bigger power classes coming later will have four PV inputs and one battery input. So right now the approved battery for this device is the BYD HVL battery. And that is very nice because it's a modular construction. So when someone goes to install that, they're stacking four KWH bricks and they can go from three up to eight. And at the top, the battery management unit sits there and that's what's wired into the inverter. So the inverter sees that as one battery anywhere from 12 up to 32 KWH. So that's a very wide range and allows, I think, an installer to talk to the homeowner, figure out what their need is. Um, and also there's a flexibility. If you plan for it, you could leave space for the battery, install this perhaps as a PV only inverter, use the SMA energy meter to monitor the true consumption with the offset of PV, and then very correctly size the battery to be a little more economical about choosing that size, not overspend for the homeowner based on their real needs. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so we've got the Sunny Boy Smart Energy going to be available in a number of different power power classes in terms of AC output. Um, what can you tell us about the warranty on the inverter? So with all SMA string inverters for residential and commercial, our standard warranty is 10 years. Uh, we've had a lot of competitors, particularly in the residential space, uh, talk very uh, fondly about their 25-year warranty. So we have our 10-year standard that we can extend in five-year increments to 15 to 20 and now 25 years. So that's new for SMA. So there is a 25-year warranty available for this product. Excellent, excellent. Now I know another issue that comes up sometimes is rapid shutdown compliance. Now can you tell us how does your solution achieve rapid shutdown compliance to make sure that we're putting an overall safe solution out there for the homeowner? Great question, and obviously, yeah, very pressing as most states are on 2017 or higher code. So in our residential and commercial inverters, we have a SunSpec certified rapid shutdown transmitter built into the inverter. Um, for this product line, that transmitter is on by default. We assume most people will utilize that. Uh, can be turned off if needed. And then SunSpec, the industry organization, certifies receivers that are compliant with their open standard. And we at SMA go through an additional level of testing and approval to make sure that while SunSpec is certified all the rapid shutdown signaling is occurring correctly, that our arc fault detection, ground fault detection, our shade fix, power optimization, none of that is impacted by that rapid shutdown signaling. So there's a list of approved SunSpec certified devices uh, that we can pair with this. So 
right now for the Sunny Boy Smart Energy, the AP Smart, a single device that has an 80 volt limit and a 15 amp current limit. That matches very nicely with the updated current on our inputs on the PV side. Uh, we've gone from a 10 amp limit of usable current up to 15 amps. So that RSD device pairs very nicely with that limit on the inverter. Excellent, excellent. Well, Michael, as you know, a, a number of installers, particularly in California, also here in Texas, are new to offering storage with the, their solar offering. Yes. Um, maybe they've they settled on a particular brand of equipment that they were familiar with in the past when they were focusing on grid tie only. What would you say to those installers out there that are still trying to decide what should be their solar with storage offering? What sets your product apart compared to some of the other uh, technologies yeah. or products that are available out there? That's a great question and that's such a wide answer. Um, you may be familiar, SMA for about 25 years now has had our Sunny Island product that was built as an off-grid inverter primarily. A um, lot of functionality, a lot of flexibility, very smart products, but uh, very maybe hard to comprehend all of the features and functionalities. Sunny Boy Smart Energy is built with that grid interactive storage focus first. So it's coming from a different side of the equation for storage. In this product, we have our old secure power supply that we'd had on our residential grid tied PV inverters since 2013. That is back. We had some issues with compatibility with rapid shutdown, but it is fully supported now even with rapid shutdown. So we have the ability for a homeowner with just PV connected to this inverter to have 1,920 watts to that outlet in a grid outage. If they also have a battery, that secure power supplier backup secure outlet can work day or night. So that's like our first stage of backup. Uh, a second stage will be what we call backup select, and it will be a physical box accessory that will look very much like the Sunny Boy Smart Energy, but be below it. And on installation, an installer can work with the homeowner to figure out, and it's up to six single phase circuits, what circuits they want normally grid powered, but that can be powered by this system should the grid fail. And that is a full microgrid interface device. It'll do automatic switching of grid power to those circuits over to the inverter should the grid fail. Uh, we're also partnering with SPAN, the smart panel manufacturer, for a more kind of full home backup and customers probably in Texas maybe want to run air conditioning should the power go out and that's a big load. So that full home backup, we will probably very much have an SMA full home solution, but I think we're also partnering with SPAN for the fact that that gives the homeowner much more control. The SPAN app allows them to see what's going on in the panel, run time for the system, and they're in control of shedding those circuits. It honestly makes our system look better, that they can extend that runtime through their own actions, and they, they're in control. So very much, we'll, we'll have multiple paths, and those are coming. So it's a very long-winded answer. Hopefully it covered everything. Excellent. Well, very exciting, Michael, to hear everything that's, that's coming in the pipeline. You know, again, folks, for you who've been following this category for a while, you know that one of the components that really makes for a successful overall solar and storage implementation, especially if you're talking about whole house backup, is having some sort of intelligent load control, intelligent load management, which is what SPAN could provide with a solution like this. So if you do end up having to fail over to an off-grid or a battery backup mode, you're not necessarily trying to run everything in the house on battery power. Maybe you power off the air conditioner, maybe you power off your electric oven, your electric clothes dryer, some of those heavy draw items that would drain the battery fast so you can preserve power for things that you really need to have, like your refrigerator, your lights, your water pump. So really interesting to hear about that. Well, folks, again, this has been an introduction to the SMA Sunny Boy Smart Energy. Uh, it's an AC and DC coupling compatible uh, battery ready grid interactive inverter. Is that, is that, is that about to sum it up? Yeah. <laughs> we used to just call them inverters. Now, yes, now. Exactly. Uh, but basically what this means folks is you, you can start with solar only or you can start with solar with a little bit of battery and then add more battery capacity over time as your needs increase or as your budget increases and basically be able to do all that with a single inverter unit. All right, so I understand you've got compatibility today with the BYD high voltage battery, but I understand there's an SMA battery coming soon. What can you tell us about that? Unfortunately, I don't have that many technical details, but yes, SMA is developing our own battery solution to pair with the Sunny Boy Smart Energy. Um, we'll have probably a lot more technical detail to share at RE Plus in Anaheim, uh, but we will have, yeah, an, an SMA home storage uh, to pair with the uh, Sunny Boy Smart Energy. Excellent. And that's, you know, one of the trends that we're seeing as well as sort of bringing everything under one umbrella, bringing everything under one brand yep. so that you can then monitor everything on one app. Speaking of, what can you tell us about the SMA Home Solutions app? What, what information can the homeowner access and what, what, what functions are available here? Um, great question. So if you can see on the app, uh, dynamically this is showing what a homeowner would see if their system was installed with PV and battery. So there's an icon for the PV production. 
We have the battery, what the status is, charging or discharging. Uh, and there will be an SMA energy meter with this system measuring power flow at the point of interconnection with the grid. That kind of tells the inverter how to charge and discharge the battery. So then the home consumption can be calculated out of that. And so dynamically, the homeowner will see in this very simple to understand app uh, what their system is doing. There's some historical information if they want to see that, but it's very clean, uh, more modern view of, of what their system is doing. Yeah, and I think that's one of the advantages of having everything on a single platform is that, you know, there's, there's, there's a consistency of user experience that you don't get when you're mixing and matching components from different manufacturers. Exactly. Now, Mike, I know one question that a lot of the installers out there are going to have is, what is the commissioning process like? How quickly can I get through the commissioning so I can close out the project? What yeah. can you tell us about that? Thanks. That's a great question and one of the great improvements for this product line. Not only is it lighter than the outgoing Sunny Boy line, much easier to access the wiring area for physical installation, commissioning is now all driven through an installer 360 app. By scanning a QR code on the side of the inverter, you join the inverter's Wi-Fi. So that is self-hosted by the inverter. It doesn't depend on the homeowner's internet whatsoever. So you're logged into the inverter and you can commission the whole system. The inverter, battery, energy meter, multiple inverters if they're present, all through the one device. And it's a very simple menu of picking you know, grid codes, what type of AFCI reset, what type of storage, and the last step very nicely is also creating a plant on our monitoring portal. And that is a critical step because that unlocks the ability for the homeowner to use the homeowner energy app and view their system. So it's a vastly simplified commissioning process from our prior generations. Well folks, again, this is the Sunny Boy Smart Energy Battery Capable Inverter. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us, uh, which of course is why we're here at trade shows like RE Plus Texas, is to make sure that we're staying up to date for you with all the latest solar technology and product information. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner out there and you're looking at different solar power or battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote for this uh, SMA solution or any of the other leading solutions, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. Uh, either set up a call with a solar expert or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, as always, I uh, thank you for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.